everyone this is Beth from Art by Bedell and I am back with another project for my dear me journal I have this piece of jelly print on copy paper and I need to figure out how I want to take this white side along with this piece of paper it's a packing slip and incorporate it into this so I've decided that I want to make a pocket out of it. So I'm going to take the left hand side and fold it under a little bit and make a pocket. I'm not sure on the right, I might make a big pocket on the right hand side. And now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, okay, I have to incorporate some of the colors in here. I don't want to just spray all the time. I want to do something different. So I got to looking through my papers and I came up with this deli print that I did with the jelly plate. And I'm like, I think I will collage a strip of this. So I'm gonna tear this and get a nice little strip. And I think I'll put it on the edge like this so that my paper will be about here. And well, I need to have something else over it. Let's get another one for the other side torn. Now these won't be side by side in the journal. There's gonna be other papers between it, but I tend to kind of make them coordinate anyhow. There's a piece of that, which with not folding this in, gives me a nice little edge. So I'm wondering if I want to have like a full piece over here. So maybe I tore that too skinny. So let's try to tear a wider piece. And if we put it here like this, then that covers up that whole white paper. And then I have a pocket here and a pocket over here. So for embellishing on this, this is still really white. Let's see. I think since I know I'm going to do this, let's get this glued down because right now my fan is on because it's hot and it's just blowing it around and actually irritating me. So. I am going to take some glue stick to the back of this paper and we need to tear off about this much of it. And let's get a scrap piece of paper that we can glue on. I'm just using my Yoohoo stick here. Get that all glued up there and then take our paper, our jelly print and put this right along the edge. I want the brown on the bottom, I do believe. And I want it to come all the way to the edge of this paper. This out here like this, and then we can press that down. Then this will go on top like this. Let's get the other side in place also. And we're gonna tear off this part that doesn't have as much paint on it. And we're gonna glue this also with the Yoohoo glue and put it along the right hand side, just like that. The reason why I don't want to fold this under is I like this number, but I do wish more of this was showing. So I'm going to tear this edge and get rid of some of this white so more of the color here was showing. Just tear that right down, making sure I don't lose my number on the bottom. That's better. I like that. That just wasn't enough of that showing for me. Now to embellish this page, I think I want to add, remember, when I was showing you my papers and I showed you some of this echo print and I wanted to incorporate some of this into my journal and I have decided that what I'm going to do is cut out some of these leaves here. So I have previously done that and I have cut out four of them. Then I've taken my two sprays that I made my papers with, the Distressed Oxide Pickled Raspberry and the Aqua Bombay India ink that I created into a spray. And I sprayed a little bit on my leaves. And I'm thinking, I really like that. So I wanna use these leaves on top. I'm gonna to make a border with them like so. And I think I'll just layer the three of these over here and that one over there. But am I happy yet still with this white piece? And maybe I don't want one over there. Maybe I wanna just leave this spot for journaling have a card in there, a tag in there. Maybe I could put this on the tag that I'm gonna put in there. Or why don't I put it down here and then there's room for journaling. Okay, Bev, let's just think about this and make up your mind. I like this three. I like this threesome over here. I think if I add some black ink to my paper 
And let's glue this down too. And I'm gonna use my glitter glue. And I'm just going to do the top and the bottom edge from the fold out to the edge of the paper. So I want to ink around the edge of this with black because black is our accent color for this journal. Now there is nothing wrong with having white in our journals. Actually, it's kind of refreshing to have a little bit of white in our journals. I just have to decide if this is too much white. And this paper is not very stiff, so it's really hard to get these edges. Um, but it's done. And that does doll it up a little bit. Does it doll it up enough? I think I want to put this in place and then go from there. So I'm going to take my glitter glue and I'm going to go along the top edge and the bottom edge. So our page has been more or less created and decided as to what it's going to be. Let's cut off the excess that's overhanging here and make that look a little neater. And then let's make a decision here. Are the leaves enough color to detract from the big stark whiteness of the whole thing? I'm gonna say yes that they are. I have also outlined the edges of the leaves with some black ink. I'm good with that. I really wanna see this paper. I wanna see, we add all this stuff to junk journals and, and it's nice to see actually what was created on top of, say, a piece of packaging. All right, so I'm gonna glue these down with some of my art glitter glue, making sure that if I'm gonna have it sticking out that I don't glue that part. So there, that's pretty different. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to sew all along the outside edge and down the center. All right, so I have it all sewn around the edges and now I would like to add a couple little clusters to each page. So for this one, I have chosen this texture and what it is is just um, a piece where I've ripped a piece of paper out of a book. And I like that on there and I also thought I'd add in a little bit of this paper so I tore a piece of that and then I tore a piece of um, coffee stain paper to add there also and then I came up with this dragonfly that has teal on it so we are going to just add these in here I'm going to ink up them around the edges just a little bit and I will do this to all the pieces and then I'll be back okay so let's just add this on here and then we'll do that with a glue stick or a scrap piece of paper over here and the fan is still blowing stuff around. And this is that jelly paper that I had jelly printed. And this is a piece of coffee stain paper. And then we will put this piece on with some tacky glue. It's a little heavier paper, so we need a little heavier glue. We'll put that right alongside the edge, just like that. And then we'll add our dragonfly in there. I think he's cute on our echo print leaves. And then over on this side, I have chosen another piece of this deli print paper and I chose the brown part, which is down here. And we will put that on with glue stick, but right about in here. And then we have a piece of piano player paper and we'll put that on with glue stick also. These papers are so lightweight that we don't need anything more than just a glue stick for them. And put that just slightly below that other one that we put, just put on. And then I have a quote because I want to add some inspiration to all of our pages. It says, this is never too late to be what you might have been. Underneath that, I have a piece of our lace that we stained with the Aqua Bombay India ink. And we'll glue that on right along the edge here. And I use my glitter, my tacky glue for that. And then I'll put this on with tacky glue also. So that's pretty easy. And this looks nice. It's fine being white. It's not overpowering anymore. And for a tag for inside here, if you remember on um, when I showed you, when I was picking in the video where I was picking out the papers for my journal, that I was gifted this. And it's from, it's a time card, I do believe. So I think we want to dress that up a little bit. How should we go about that? 
all of our other tags that we had pre-made, we used the radiant pearls for some color. So I think that this doesn't have very much pink on it. It has more teal. So I think we'll do pink on our card here. And we're just going to take our brush and see if we can dip that down in there far enough. Probably not. So we're going to have to use our CD to get a little bit of that paint out of there. We don't have much left. And then we're just going to scrub some of this on our card. And I think with the finish that's on this card, this is going to scrub quite nicely, which it is. So I'm going to do this to front and back. I'm just going over this with some dictionary paper to pick up the excess ink on this. So I said I was going with pink and then I ended up with more teal than pink anyhow. It'll be fine. So I'm not bothered at all by the writing on here. It actually gives us some lines for journaling. We need something decorative on there. I have this dragonfly and I think I'll put that on the one side and then the other side can be used for journaling. And then this will match our dragonfly that we put on our page. So I'm just gonna glue that down. First, I'm gonna go over it with black ink around the edges. That makes a beautiful tag. How simple was that, right? And this dragonfly is just a printable, a digital that I got off. Um, I believe it was Louisa Heinzel's page on Etsy. So that looks nice. And the back has some color to it. We could add a fiber up here. Let's put it in our book, our page, and see what we think. If we just slide that right in here, just like that. I don't think we necessarily really need anything more added to it. We're just gonna leave it as it is. Over here, I haven't yet decided what I wanna put there. I think we'll do one of our index cards that we have previously made, and we will dress that up a little bit. We'll use some of our deli print paper that we have on everything else. We don't want to do the side that we could write on. Let's do the back side. So some of that could be added on here. Let's just do some little collaging on here and see what we come up with. This has quite a bit going on it over here on this side. So we'll just kind of make it work so it kind of blends in toward each other. We'll do a piece of our book paper. Get the part that's brighter. Tear that down a little. And then ink that up with black ink. And add some glue stick. Okay, I have some snaps here. And three different sizes. And let's see what we can find to snap on that. I have a piece of paper that was gifted to me. And that is this paper here. It's handmade. I'm not quite sure how. But I thought I would add that on here, and I'll just put that on with my glitter glue. Just a stream down along the side to hold it in place, just like so. And then I have my snaps, and I will use my AR Memory Keepers Crocodile. <coughs> put a hole for the first one using my 1 8 inch punch right here and see if that's big enough for my, actually it's not. I'm sure if this one's going to be too big, but we're gonna give it a shot, that down in there like that. Actually, I think I want that on the other side. And then I'll take this piece and I'll put it down in there and then I'll snap them together like that. And then I'm gonna put another one a little bit further down, see if this will reach in there. No, it won't. So we'll have to go to plan B for that. Find my little pokey thing. And we'll go about this far down. Make our hole big enough for this to go through. Go a little bit bigger. Where is it? There it is. And then we'll put the back on it. So we have two. And then we'll put the third one right about in here. So we have our three different sizes of snaps on there. They look pretty cute. And then I have this product called Flower Soft. And this color is black. It's by katiesuedesigns.com. Again, it's something I've had for years. So I don't even know that she's still in business. But I thought I'd put a nice little line of it here. And I'm going to use my glitter glue to put it on. So let's just get some glitter glue on here. 
maybe about a quarter of an inch wide of a stream so that we can get a nice little bit of it on here. I'm going to use a coffee filter to catch the excess. And I'll just take a little and press it in place. It's almost like it's plastic, like it's really fine chopped up plastic. <sighs> kind of weird, right? But it adds a nice little texture. As you see, guys, I've always been into adding texture to products. I come up with all this stuff that I've had for years. There we go. How cute is that? I like that. Now we'll take our coffee filter and we'll shake the excess right back in our jar. There we go. That's really cute. I think we need, hmm, do we need anything more? I think it needs a flower, actually. So let me see what I can find in a flower to put on here. Okay, so I've chosen this flower, and I'm gonna ink up around the edges of that. And then I also have part of a tea, or a tea bag here, and I'm gonna tear a part of that off. Yep, put that on there just like that. So I'll use my glue stick again. I like that. We can use that for journaling on. And our flower soft will eventually settle all down and quit shedding. But we have a pretty index card and then room on the back for journaling. So we have our page. And then this will just slide right inside here, just like that. And let's put that in our journal and see how it looks. This is what we have so far. Well, our first signature. We have our first page that we did. Some coffee paper. Our second page we did. Another piece of copy paper. And then this page will go right in here. Something like that. Our tag there. And our index card there. All right. Hope you enjoyed this project. You can check out the playlist below if you've missed any of the other projects that we've had so far. And thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye now.